Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day after days of bad weather, you know. But we needed the rain. We honestly needed the rain. Hopefully, there's no storms going on. Everybody's good. Maybe. Hopefully. Hmm. Guys. I did a video, which was like a response video, and I've only done one before, and I did another one from Wade Wilson talking to his dad, and I thought I was recording me in the video, and all I've got is my audio, not my video, so I'm going to go with this, and I'm just going to add my face in certain places where I think it makes a difference. I'm going to make I'm going to make a little bit of uh, facial expressions on the video. I'll probably add a little bit more to it too. But guys, let's check this out. And um, I really have to say that, you know, Piper's probably watching this and saying, Damn, Toddy, I showed you how. I know you showed me how. And um, I did it wrong. Anyway, guys, hopefully you can appreciate this video because it really it's not so important about me being in it. But I really want you to hear the words that I have to say in regards to the video. So, guys, uh, it's more important you hear that. And you do hear that. So, we'll just jump right in on it. Tell me what you think of this, um, of the way that, that this is done. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, usually I do videos a certain way. I have a certain structure. This structure is a little bit different. Just want to know what you think. I mean, I'd rather see my face in there when I'm talking with the facial expressions. It just didn't happen that way. So we're just going to go with it, like I said, guys. Uh, so give me a little bit of a break. And uh, again, half of you are subscribed, half of you are not. Those half that aren't subscribed, you should subscribe because you see that I, I do things that screw up on occasion. And sometimes it's funny. So guys, anyway, let's listen up to this because this is really interesting. And Wade Wilson... In case you don't know, he has unalived two women in Florida in brutal ways just for the sake of doing it. And he's the guy with the tattooed face. So those of you that know, know. And those of you that don't know, listen and you'll learn about the guy. Prince Charming. Let's go. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Dad. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Yeah. Hey. It's all right. Just getting, just getting off work. Yeah, good man. I had um, yeah. That's it. I had two uh, lawyers come talk to me today. Two public defenders, and lawyers. The um, the main public defender lady, and then um, the uh, the main like chief of um, investigator, and they came and uh, they came and talked to me today. Yeah. Yeah, they did. So, are we about, still about what? Not. Um, not the they... murder shit. No. Well, no, no, no. They yeah, said. Yeah, charged uh, you with that. Yeah, I know. They said they're getting, they're, they're just working on everything, you know. So they um they know that I haven't been right. charged with that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So um and then the right. other the other lady, she was for all my other shit that I've already been charged with. So she um they just said they said stop talking about shit, you know. So guys, so let's get some context here real quick. Like the day before, Mila, his ex girlfriend but he didn't realize that she was an ex at the time he was talking to her and saying, baby, 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 oh, which you can watch a video on. And I didn't know that Mila was working for the feds there, or the cops, and, you know, helping him to confess to what he did, which he did. And he, so apparently now the lawyers have come to him and said, hey, keep stump because... Look at what you did, man. You just confessed to this woman thinking she loved you and all this shit and was going to stand by you even after you punched her in the face and all that and made her bleed. And then he, there's a, he, he's on a phone call with Mila talking about how she took it like Muhammad Ali and George Foreman because when he punched her, like, she, she stood there, like, and just... And she's taking all this in, and I'm thinking, why is she with this guy? Because, you know, 4,000 women now, and maybe some men, have been writing to him. He's got money now. The guy has got money on the books now. But this is like nine days after he's incarcerated. Okay, so this is about nine days after he's incarcerated. And he hasn't gone 
they haven't gone to the trial yet, okay? So, and he's on the phone with his dad. And mind you, so a little backstory real quick. His dad, this is his biological dad. He, his dad was 15, 15. That would be when 15. When this kid was conceived. 15. 15. 15, the one woman, five. The girl, 14. Born, the woman was, the girl was 15. The dad was 16. He went for adoption. Wade, who was originally named Anthony, went for adoption. He was adopted by somebody who knew the maternal family. And they were, in, they were good people, Christian people. They adopted Wade. They did everything they could for Wade. The dad even says that in an interview, which I highly recommend, on Lockdown 23 and 1, a, a fantastic conversation that... Uh, his dad, his biological dad, goes through the whole story about how when he turned, he turned Wade in because, you know, his dad has his own history in prison, but his dad completely turned his life around. And that interview is just so worth listening to because he even, the dad even talks about when I turned him in, the only thing I could think of was when, when he was a baby, when he was a baby because... I had lost all that time with him because, you know, he was adopted while I was incarcerated. So he had a relationship with his son when his son was very, very young. Obviously, Wade didn't, didn't remember that and such. And it was when Wade turned 18 that he reached out to his um, biological parents. So his dad tried to be there for him and tried to understand stuff. And Wade had already been in trouble a little bit. Nothing like this. Nothing to the extreme of this. But uh, you should listen to that interview from Lockdown 23 and 1 because it's really it's eye-opening to understand what the biological dad you know, feels he's responsible for and what he's not. And you know how he turned his life around. You know, and just... The heartbreak of realizing, you know, that I created this, like, you know, and how disappointing. And then, you know, the gall of his son no longer is talking to him, not because of anything other than he doesn't need anything from his dad, which he says in the interview as well. You know, heard from Wade all the time when he needed something, but when he didn't need anything, wouldn't hear from him. And you listen to this phone call, you can see how the man's trying to be a dad, but Wade Wilson has one thing on his mind. Guess what it is? You're right. Abs I heard all of you. Commissary money. That's what he wants, his commissary money. He wants his peanut butter for his choke sandwiches. That's what he wants. He wants to make the spreads. Somebody says those are called spreads, spreads now when they make these gourmet meals with the beef jerky and the pickled sausage and the ramen noodles and the cheese whiz and the hot sauce and all that bullshit that they make this stuff, these elaborate meals. You saw Gypsy Rose. She made her little monster drink, right? The jail monster drink, right? They've got this this shit. And then, and then they call them certain things as well besides, you know, like choke sandwich. You know, that's, that's the peanut butter, PB&J. There you go. So anyway... He's focused on that, and he is the guy. He is the guy. You know those those um, those uh, they're they're more like grifters. You know what I'm saying? They're they're scammers. They do those card tricks on the streets in London, in New York City, and all these busy cities. Or they they do the ball that's underneath the you know the cup, and you know so. He's the guy that always knows where it's at because he's really focused on what the fuck he wants. But that's all he's focused on. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. Nothing else. And we're going to hear that. So. Which I, uh -huh. I understand. Yeah. 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 You, need, and, um, you, need, you know, you need to just stop. Yeah, I stopped. I took um, I took uh, what's her name off my machine, off my fucking, off my kiosk machine. I took her off there. I took her. I'm not gonna call her. None of that shit, man. Fuck. What's her name is Mila. So Mila's why they came and said, "Hey, shut up," because she sets you up. Yeah, I know she's fucking. Did, did you call her and ask her? 
No, I haven't. No, I haven't talked to her since. No, not at all. No, I haven't. Okay. So, cause what, well, just so you know, when yeah. I hung up with you last night, yeah. I sent her a message and I said, I just want you to know that yeah. I told Wade the truth about everything that you've been doing with the media. Yeah. And I said, uh, you know, the least you can do is be honest with him. Yeah. And, you know, don't tell the media one thing and then tell him something else because that's not right. And right. she never responded, you know. But of course, of I course she did. But here's the thing. She doesn't owe him that. She doesn't owe him a damn thing. Not a damn thing. I wanted her to know that, you know, yeah. that that you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fair. So, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. How so those of you that don't know, I don't give a shit about what's fair for Wade Wilson. He t stole his girlfriend's car that he didn't even know how to drive because it's a stick shift. And let me tell you something else that, listen, so there's nothing fair. You know, he doesn't owe fair. But now let's go and say in the interview... That's in lockdown 23 and 1, which again, I highly recommend you check that out with his biological dad, excuse me, and the guy from 23, from lockdown 23 and 1. <laughs> this was clever. Now, mind you, I said that this guy has been in trouble with the law himself, but he changed his life around Wade Wilson's biological dad, the guy that, he, that he's on the phone with here, right? And... But he makes it clear, as Wade is going to be headed off to prison, that Wade is absolutely no threat to a man. He says he's a coward to men. Now, this guy's six foot three. He's imposing looking, right? Right? I mean, you would think that maybe, just maybe, he would, you know, he's, he's imposing looking, right? So you would think that maybe, just maybe... His dad wouldn't say, listen, guys, don't worry about the way he looks. He's kick his ass. He's afraid of men. He, he just bullies women. He's afraid of men. Don't worry about it, you know, because that's basically what his dad did for him going into uh, prison. He's, he's right now, he's still in jail. I, I'm like 99% sure he's still in jail. He's going to get his sentencing, which, again, the jury said capital punishment. We don't even want him breathing, and I agree with that. Because here's the thing, guys. You're going to see this guy is no longer in need to talk to his dad because he doesn't need anything from his dad. Because he's got money of his own now because somebody's sending him money. A lot of people are sending him money. He's got 4,000 pen pals. So you figure that one out. I was, uh... Listen, I, I talked to Candy. I talked to Candy this morning. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, she's super upset about everything. And she said that yeah. you sent her one of those requests, you know, for the yeah. email correspondence yeah. or whatever. Yeah. She said that, that they were going to put some money on that today. On the machine? So I don't know if... On yeah, the, so you can okay. send messages and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you yeah. might want to check that, because I don't know if she's done that or not yet. But she, okay. you know... She's trying... She, She's, she's having a hard time with it, like. Yeah, I know, man. I know she. I bet yeah. she's having a really hard time. She's honestly, she's a pretty sweet lady. So, I mean, she um something like I this. I know she is. I know all that shit you t that you were talking wasn't wasn't real. I know, <laughs> you know. I, I yeah. can tell she's a she's a little over the top with that Christianity shit, but yeah, for um, sure, for definitely. She is a sweet. She is a sweet lady, dude. She is. For man. sure, she is. So I don't. I'm not. I don't know who Candy is. I can, I am assuming that Candy is the woman that adopted him. But that's just me, really, just reaching. I don't know. But you know, Christian and the church group, and he'll say how much she loves Wade. And even in the interview, lockdown, twenty three and one, they talk about how much they tried. He the. His biological dad talks about how much the foster parents really tried, really tried with Wade. So, you know, fucking he's evil. He's, that's what this guy is. He's evil. There's, he's evil.
Okay. Don't we think he loves the fuck out of you? They might listen. They might That's put candy. they might put money on my kiosk, but they're not gonna put no fucking money on my on my canteen. I can tell you that right now. They're done. They've been done with that a long time canteen. ago, man. Yeah. Well, canteen. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna do the best that I can do. Yeah, I know. Also, I, mean, I want you to understand something. I, yeah. I want you to understand something. What yeah. this has done to me. Okay. Because now I got people sending me death threats. I got people threatening my my kids, my wife, my house, um, you name it. People are saying, you know, that's your son. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You better yeah. watch yourself. Uh, you know, which I don't see that's it, but yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, telling no. you, it's been, you know, it, it's affected a lot of shit, Wade. I know, Dan. I know. So. I know. You know, yeah. it is what it is. You know, what are they? What, I, are they you know, what are they? What are they calling? Website, you know, I got. No, they post that shit online. You know, on on these damn uh, Facebook uh, and message boards and all yeah. kinds of shit. Yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. Facebook, but you know, they they're posting it just in yeah. general. Like that motherfucker better watch out. You know, he yeah, killed bullshit. my friend. And, you know, yeah. you know all kinds of shit. So yeah. okay, you know, whatever. I, you know, I'm just telling you, it's, it's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. What, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? You said on the flip side. Uh, fuck. Now, he knows what he was going to say. He was going to bring up the commissary because that's what has started with this, with the, you know, they're only going to help over there with, uh, I guess, phone calls and stuff like that, with, not with me being able to get my shit so that I could be comfortable in, you know, jail here. So again, you know, guys, I made a comment and I totally believe this. He, I, I, I do want him to get the unalived penalty here because he is going to be so comfortable. He's going to have whatever he wants and people adjust, you know, people adjust. He, he, He's going to adjust comfortably. It's not going to be the perfect life for him, but he will adjust and it will no longer feel like the punishment it should for what he did because he's got contact with people. Even though he doesn't have physical contact with people, he has things that he can let his mind go to, you know, and he's going to have his commissary, you know. So right now, things in jail... That's the way it is in prison. I, I I don't think he should get all of this. I don't think he... But, you know, they're not going to stop letters from coming in as long as those letters aren't about, you know, um, breaking the law and such like that. They're not going to stop love letters and stuff like that from coming in. So it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But in the meantime, his dad has said to him, oh, look at how this affected my life, my family's life. Like, you're not, I am your biological dad, man. I've been there for you. I love you, but look at what you've done, man. Just look at what you've done. It has affected my life, my kid's life. Uh, death threats I'm getting. And he's like, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh-huh, wow, okay. And, I mean, he steps on pretty much every word because he doesn't listen. Wade just does not listen, you know. And I don't know how many of you know this, but when he was caught for something before, I think it was previous to this crime, him and another cellmate escaped. So this guy is definitely going to be is watched, and he's a high-profile, you know, inmate now. So just, he's just soulless. This guy is soulless. You hear me? I don't remember now. Uh, no? Okay. Yeah, I have no clue. I, I, so I listen, really don't remember. What listen, I, I had... Oh, oh, that's what I was... Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you know, it, I'm in a tough situation, Wade, yeah. because, you know, I love you, you're my son, and, you know, I'm going to be there for you because I, I feel like you, you, you deserve that, you need that, whatever. Yeah. But, you know... My wife, my wife is a caring, loving person, but she's also, she's also, you know, like, you know, they fuck him right now. 
You know, yeah, what he did is fucked up. And I agree, it is fucked up. But, you know, so for her, she's like, you know, those, those, those women, they, 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 they're never going to see their family. And, you know, and all that shit. Yeah, I yeah, I know. It. I hear but, what she's saying. Know, it's just a bad situation, dude. Yeah. You know? So I'm gonna do the best I can for you. Oh, are you talking? Are you talking and, about like with helping? Know, with, are you talking about helping me out with canteen or something like that? Is that what you're talking about? Just everything. Just yeah. in general, everything. All yeah, right. everything. So he doesn't even stop for a second to say, "Shit, man, I'm causing problems in my dad's marriage." Oh my god! Because here's the thing: when you're incarcerated, if you don't have any money. They will give you hygiene stuff. It's called welfare. I mean, that's what they used to do in uh, Virginia. They have to let you at least care for yourself. I'm not saying these are high shelf products. They're not. They're shit products. But, you know, they're products. So he is not really worried about, you know, like toothpaste and toothbrush and shit like that. He's worried about feeding his gut. He's worried about spoiling himself. He's worried about making it as comfortable for him as possible without thinking about how fucked up he did to not only the people whose lives he took away, those families, but the people that actually cared about him. And, and look at that. Look at what, look at how there's so much more stuff out there. The tentacles of evil from this fuck is, is just like spewing. And he doesn't get it. He doesn't fucking care. He is soulless. My wife isn't like, you know, fuck him, fuck your son, and all that. No, I know, like I know, that. I know. But, but she, I know. She I know also what you're is saying. like, you know, goddamn. Yeah, okay, good. Well, Dad, I really, honestly, like, I don't want to, you know, and I, you know, I get scared to ask you for canteen because then I feel like you won't talk to me or something. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, like, bug you no, up. No, it's not that. But, but, he, but I'm going to tell you what bothers me, too, though, son. What's it's up? Like, it's been a fucking, it's been a week and two days. Nine days. All this shit happened. Yeah. And, you know, and you're like, I need long johns. I need fucking shit. And I need this. And I just don't, I don't. Nine fucking days. Nine days. And the guy's talking about how he needs swag. That's what he needs. He needs the Jimmy Johns. He needs all that. It doesn't matter what he did on the outside. It doesn't matter how he's just affected his uh his dad and you know the sad bit is he i mean the dad does say he only kept in touch with me when he needed something i only heard from him from him when he wanted something you know and and he's he's telling his kid i'm gonna be there for you wade who the fuck is gonna be there for him right i'm gonna be there for you wade wade don't give a shit because Wade is no longer in touch with his dad simply because Wade doesn't need anything. That's the only reason. And his dad says that. So... Don't think, dude, I don't feel like like you're like, that you really get it. Like, I don't think you get it, son. I get it, I'm you just... You know, I don't want you to sit there and like mope around and, and be no, like doom and I'm gloom, not. but the shit yeah. is serious. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, I know. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just so let me ask you this: We're not. It's we're not getting. We're not. Situation I've we're, never been in. We're not getting me an attorney, though, right? This is. Well, here's the problem with that. Yeah. You know they're going to charge you with first degree murder times two. Uh. -huh. And the, the the information that I have been given, they may charge you with capital murder times yeah. two. Which they did. Yeah. Because of, you know, there's premeditation and the, the severity of what, what happened, uh -huh. which capital murder is, you know, punishable by death. So, you yeah. you know, the, the starting price for an attorney on Makes a capital sense. murder case is like 25 grand. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's for one yeah. murder. Much less two, you're looking at fifty fucking grand, wait. I yeah, it's because of. No, I, mean, I know. You got it. Yeah, I know. This that's a lot. This isn't like then. a third degree felony we're dealing with, huh? We're dealing yeah. with like a, a fucking murder. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
you know, but, but well, listen, don't worry about know, the lawyer. Don't there's, worry about the lawyer, Dad. And if you can just help me out a little bit with canteen, because honestly, you know, we can, we can. I, I mean, like you said, I won't, I won't ask you for it. But like, if you could fucking give me like twenty bucks a week, dude, that would fucking focus. be helpful. You know, like Always I don't want to fucking be all in your shit. Yeah, gives you know, but about. that would I, be like I at least, at least then I can get like toothpaste and fucking deodorant and shit and just fucking have shit. You know. I understand. Yeah, I'm I not understand. trying to press you. And for I will do the I will do the best that I can do. I promise. I know. I know that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Man, I'm, not, I'm not gonna forget That's about true. you. I'm I know. not gonna leave you fucked up. But okay. I'll do the best that I can do. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me? Do you yeah. want me to ask you for it, or is it better if I just don't? Or you just tell me? How do you want me to deal with it? No. I don't. No. I don't, you don't want have to. to. You don't okay. have to ask me for shit. You okay. Just, good. I'll take care of it. All right. I'll do. Okay. So. His dad's still trying to give him a little bit of dignity by saying, yo, man, when I have it, you'll get it. You don't have to ask. I'm not asking you to belittle yourself. And Wade just wants to know, how do I fucking get the money, Dad? How do I get the money? Yes, yeah. I can do. I believe that. So, I believe you. I won't even, you know? I won't even bother you with it then, okay? okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. And, and I want you, the other thing that I, I really need you do yeah. during this time you know they're gonna charge you you already uh -huh. know that uh -huh. so you know you, you need to kind of come up with I, I don't know that you you play in you know you have options, you know, well, listen, listen, hold on, Dad, hold on, hold on, insanity. hold on, listen, listen, listen. The okay. lawyers that came to talk to me today, even uh, even after every even after. So, guys. I wanted to share a little bit of this with you. It's a different format for me. I really like responding to this. I'm not going to do the whole video because I want you guys to listen to it from phone calls from prison. These people are paying for this. So I'm not going to take their video and put it out on my channel. It's a lot more interesting and it's free. So if you're interested, you consider this like a teaser with my little spin on it. And, uh, you know... Wade Wilson, mm, I've done a few videos on him. Uh, this is the first reactionary video with the jail call. Uh, again, tell me what you think about it because there's quite a few videos that he does that I have a lot to say about when he, uh, just about very specific things. And again, this thing that is very specific is that he has a dad that's still trying to show him love, still trying to show that he's cared for, that he's not alone in this world, and that he will be there for him the best he can be there for him. And that means nothing to this guy who doesn't feel somehow like the most hated man in Florida after what happened here. You know what I'm saying? There's no real remorse. He is alone, but everything to him is plastic. Everything isn't real. He doesn't care that Mila did what she did because now he's got this other woman he's talking to. You know what I'm saying? So anything can be replaced because everything he wants is disposable. Everything this fucker wants is disposable. He is evil. He is soulless. It is horrific. And I do feel bad for his dad. I feel bad for his dad because his dad has really struggled with what he's done, but his dad did the right thing. His dad's the one that um, told the cops where he was, and he told Wade when Wade asked him. So I don't really see the difference between what he did and what Mila did, except I think he's saying that Mila did this for the media and that Mila's going to maybe make some money. And you know what? If Mila can make a few dollars, like I said, let her. This guy ruined her fucking life, so let her. Guys, I cursed a little bit more than I wanted to. I'm going to fix that. But yeah, tell me what you think of this format. And uh, guys, be better today than you were yesterday. <laughs> Never, ever be this guy. Um, and guys, just you know, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. I'm supposed to be doing a live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 13th. That's my dad's birthday. I'm aiming for that, but I didn't realize that I'm going to be having shots in my neck that day. So I really don't know how I'm going to feel. I might come on for a few minutes to say, guys, I feel horrible. I just want to go back to bed because I will be going to work that night as well. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I didn't realize that. And so...
Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. And uh, thanks. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. And please go to Phone Calls from Prison right here, guys. Phone Calls from Prison. And if there, there's so many calls. And I'm going to go. I'd like to go over some. You know. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks.